Are you trying to turn your channel around as a new creator? Let's go! If you're a new YouTuber, you're probably no stranger to the feeling of frustration and disappointment that comes with not seeing the growth that you want. You pour your heart out and you pour your soul into creating new content, but somehow it just doesn't seem to be resonating with anyone. Well, you're not alone, and today I want to talk about the challenges that new YouTubers face and share some of those strategies that can help you to overcome them. So one of the biggest problems that new YouTubers face is the lack of visibility. So you could be creating the best content in the world, but if nobody knows that it exists, it's never going to take off. Another huge issue is engagement, or rather the lack of engagement. You might get a few views, but if nobody's actually interacting with the content, it's really hard to build a loyal following. And then there's the question of content strategy. Are you creating the right type of content for your target audience? Are you posting at the right times? Are you using the right keywords? It is so overwhelming to say the least, but a lot of new YouTubers struggle to find a consistent tone and a style for their channel. And that makes it really hard for viewers because they don't know what to expect from them. So some people might be really great at creating entertaining content, but they might not be so great at promoting it. And let's be real, some people might just be creating content for the sake of creating content without an actual clear idea of who their target audience is or what they actually want to achieve. So what can you do to improve your chances of success? Well, first and foremost, you need to optimize your video titles, your thumbnails and descriptions. Make them more discoverable so people can actually see your content in the first place. And that means using relevant keywords or creating eye-catching thumbnails, because that's the first thing people see. It needs to grab their attention. Try writing the descriptions accurately. Summarize what your video is actually about. And then you should also focus on creating high quality and engaging content that resonates with your target audience. So what that means is understanding who your audience is. What do they want to learn or what do they need to be entertained by? How can you provide that value to them? Another key strategy is to engage with your audience as much as possible. Respond to their comments, ask them for feedback at the end of videos or mid video. Show your viewers that you actually care about what they have to say. And that will help you to build a loyal following. It will encourage people to share your content with other people as well. You should also be consistent with your uploads and have a posting schedule so that your audience knows when to expect new content from you. And also don't be afraid to experiment. Try new things, whether it's a new format, a new genre of video, or a new style that you want to edit. Shake things up. It can really keep your content fresh and exciting. Here's a game changer that a lot of successful YouTubers swear by, and that is focusing on providing value to your audience rather than just trying to promote yourself or what your product is that you're trying to sell. When you create content that educates people or it entertains them or it inspires them, they're actually more likely to share it with other people and come back for more. And that means thinking about what you can give to your audience rather than what you can get from them. So also be authentic, be transparent with what you're saying and be willing to take risks and be vulnerable. It means being patient and being persistent because success rarely happens overnight. It takes time. So remember, becoming a successful YouTuber does take time, like I said. It takes effort and perseverance. It takes a willingness to learn and adapt and experiment. It takes commitment to providing value to your audience and build a loyal following. And it takes refusal to give up and when things get tough. So keep creating, keep promoting the, what you're creating, and most importantly, keep believing in yourself. Don't just stop. Thank you all for watching. And if you are a new YouTuber who is struggling to find your success, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. What has been the biggest challenge that you have faced so far? What strategies have you tried and what worked for you? If you are also looking for more tips like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon to turn on notifications. Me, I will see you in the next video. Take care guys, bye bye. Whoop.